Marima Davidson. Kia ora, Mr Chair, thank you. It is my absolute honour uh, to be the second speaker after uh, our Chair for the Select Committee, Nuk Kurako, delivered the initial speech. This is the first. Um, kia ora to the House and to all of my colleagues. Māori well-being is what I'd like to focus on. Māori thrive when we are connected to our land, our language, and our people, being our marae, our hapu, our iwi, and or our communities. Uh, so Māori understand this, and well-being for Māori then requires us all to believe that a fairer future is possible, a future that will keep us connected and reconnect us to those very things that make us who we are and keep us alive. Uh, so I wanted to focus on the Green Party as being a big part of what is possible because good change is absolutely 100% possible and now I'm going to uh, reflect on why we need change. Because too many people are struggling and Māori are overrepresented in those who are struggling and that includes Māori children. Um, if we look at housing, I came in on a platform of reminding us about the hardship particularly for Māori women and children in housing. I've said constantly how I think about uh, friends of mine, uh, mother, Māori mothers with their children, living in garages of my other friends, living in cars, uh, struggling to just get by every day, and that's simply not good enough. We know that, for example, uh, food parcels being given out to families have increased, and the work of the Salvation Army I completely acknowledge here, but also again, that is not good enough. Um, just in question time today, we had the Prime Minister uh, quite gleefully reminding us about how the economy is supposedly growing. And so why then have we got still too many tamariki living in poverty, too many of those who are Māori? Why would we ever stop and even say that our economy is growing while these things continue to happen to Māori? So in my role as spokesperson for Māori development for the Green Party, I absolutely wanted to stand and remind us that a fairer future is possible and why that is necessary. It is necessary for me as Māori woman in Parliament to uh, remember that all of us have a responsibility to make good change. Um, Māori as kaitiaki understand that our hopes and dreams include a cleaner environment that we are having to look after. I welcome the news of my Taitokiro colleague, Calvin Davis, and her survey in the north of my Taitokiro people, who, where 86% oppose deep sea oil drilling, because Māori also understand that deep sea oil drilling can never be part of a sustainable economy and can never be part of a just society. So I am pleased and have always seen that Māori are capable of leading the way in good change. Thank you. Uh, but, so while I commend the work of the Minister Tūruro Flevel uh, and the changes and the positive steps with things like whānau water, uh, unfortunately, the minister is hampered by a national government whose economy is not working for everybody. And if an economy is not working for everybody, then it is not working. And that is all that can be said about that. Uh, so uh, I, I put it back to this government. Um, but the solutions are there, and the Green Party have long worked on them. We can build the smartest houses, uh, the best houses. We can have the smartest, cleanest, and most sustainable economy. Uh, we can protect our rivers and clean them up for our children to swim in. And the Greens have long understood that the solutions and the ideas exist. And we see those, uh, we see the ideas and the leadership in the communities. In Glen Innes, for four years in a row, I have supported River Talks, where the community or, or, are taking order, ownership. Order. I am going to order. I have signaled to the member before that she has to stay closer Fair to the enough, debate than she you. has been.
Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Um, and so I wanted to emphasise that when it comes to the wellbeing for Māori, uh, the Green Party understands what that requires. The Green Party understands the political will and leadership that is required for us to ensure that all Māori are doing well. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.